Tomato and bacon pasta. It comes from one of my favorite dishes, a matrachana. And that's when you use the guanjali, they use the cheek of the pork. Low and slow on the bacon. What I did is I cooked this bacon down and want it to be nice and crispy. And I cut it ahead of time versus doing it in the long pieces, because when you do it in the long pieces like you're doing for breakfast, you have a tendency that certain areas don't get cooked as far as the other. The key here is to go low and slow in rendering. What we want to do is render the fat out of that bacon the best we can. And that's actually going to be part of the sauce, and we're actually going to cook with that. There's a little residual in there. I need to hit it with a little bit of olive oil. Uh, the red onions that I chopped up. OK. The garlic that I did in the food processor. And then a little red chili flake. OK, let's go shopping. I need uh, basil, green onions, parm. And remember, you got to cook the dish based upon the ingredients available, not based upon what you want to eat. So you could say, gosh, I want to have that bacon tomato pasta the guy makes. Well, if the Roma tomatoes aren't looking great and they're not luscious and, and beautiful and, and, and ripe, don't make the dish. Hit it with a little uh, Sonoma County cab. Now what that's going to do is deglaze the bottom of that pan, pull some flavor off. But in the meantime, while that deglazes, I got to get this pasta off. And the second most important part of this, great pasta. Great pasta is the foundation to this dish. What I want you to think about when it comes to pasta, I'm not saying great pasta by the dollar amount, I'm saying by the, by the look. We want to get the pasta that's been, that's been air dried. So the pasta that looks a little bit more artisan, a little bit more crusty and old, and, and, and it usually does cost a little bit more. It's worth every penny. Okay, now mix this around a little bit. Not too much, because there's not uh, not a ton of sauce. All I need to do is get it over. But look how nice and vibrant green that uh, that basil is in there. Oh, that's beautiful. So in the bowl, it smells so good. Really good pasta, really good bacon, fresh tomatoes goes a long way. Nice compliment.